want the starting five for the decade of the 1960s. So I'll just I'll kind of spark the conversation. We're going to go position by position. Um, but maybe you can tell me, Isaiah, as a child of the 60s, uh, who, do you remember who was the first guy you kind of idolized or watched in the 60s and that possibly played the point guard position that you said, hey, that's, that's the guy? Well, it, it, it was Cousy. It had to be Cousy. Uh, we, um, and it's interesting, uh, the 60s, um, the Celtics was really one of the first teams to integrate. Uh, so everyone in my family and around, you know, the community we were Celtics fans because they had all the brothers. <laughs> and, 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 you, and, you know, my, my father and my mother was like, hey, you got to root for the Celtics because, you know, you know, they're breaking down racial barriers and everything else. And even though we were in Chicago, the Celtics were the team they told us to root for. And so when we went outside and played basketball and you ran a fast break, they would call it a Boston. Mm -hmm. oh. And and also we rooted for the St. Louis Cardinals in baseball because of Bob Gibson. Wow! So that, those were those were the two teams that we that we rooted for. So some good stories from from so Cousy from, from was the, the Cousy was the guy yeah. at the at the point guard position at that time. Where was Oscar Robertson? I I, I was gonna say I didn't see him play, but for my family it was always Oscar Robertson. Yeah, Oscar Robertson. So I, I would take Oscar at the point. You know when you talk about Oscar Robertson. I was on a panel with Oscar Robertson and Jerry West in Los Angeles. And to hear Jerry West and to see Jerry West talk about Oscar Robertson. And, and I never forget, he, he moved up and he was like, hey, look, I, I know I'm, I'm the logo and everything else. He said, but in my era, there was no better basketball player than Oscar Robertson. Amen. And Oscar was yeah. sitting Amen. right here. Amen. Right. And, right. and you know, Oscar said, you right, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's how it's you right. <laughs> now. And to that point, we, we applaud LeBron James, all these guys getting triple doubles. And you look back then with Oscar, how he averaged the triple double for a whole season. Yeah. And with all the technology we have today, they didn't have the ankles, the, the MRI, all the stuff we have now. They didn't have back then. And Oscar Robertson, and was consistent for a whole season that way. Well, it's funny, it's funny too yeah. because I, I mean, a period of time I was getting a lot of triple doubles, and I saw them in '97 in Cleveland, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where they had the, the 50 greatest uh, right. players, and they honored them there. And he said, "Young fella, you know what you're doing is impressive, you know." But I did it the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> not, only that, not only that, Grant. If you look at Oscar's numbers, if you take his first five years playing for Cincinnati over his first five seasons of his professional career, he averaged a triple double. Five se uh, one season statistically, yep. he did it. But yeah. if you average the first five seasons, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he did it. And in the, in the 60s, he averaged, let's see, 29, 10 assists, and 8.5 rebounds in the decade of the 60s. Uh, Shaq, if you, had to, if you had to name the starting center for that 60s team, and you're looking at Russell and Chamberlain and Bellamy, Willis Reed was playing for the Knicks back in the, back in the 60s. Well, uh... Will Chamberlain was indeed the most dominant player ever, but, you know, I was taught, you know, from guys like Isaiah and guys like Mike that it's all about the championships. Uh, so, you know, Bill Russell has 11 championships. That will never, ever be matched again. Uh, I think the closest to that is Mike with six. So I probably have to go with Bill Russell on that. We cannot throw out what Will. Mm. Will is Will. I mean, obviously he didn't win championships, but I, I'm with Shaq. You, you go with winners because Bill Russell won so much, but when you start saying which would you start a team with, it's hard to go against the Big Dipper. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's hard to go against him. So who would we, who would we take for our point guard for, for the 60s? Oscar Robertson? Os Oscar, 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 Oscar. Oscar. Who we go with our two guard? Sam Jones, Jerry West, Al Greer. Jerry West Jerry is hard West. to go against. You the logo. Yeah. 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 Jerry West. Jerry for sure. Uh, small forward. Elgin Baylor. Elgin, Elgin, Elgin Baylor. Baylor. Yep. Elgin Buckets. And, uh, <laughs> and while we're doing our starting five, probably we, if, the best six man would be Havlicek. John Havlicek. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, power forwards. I'm moving Bob Russell headed. to power forward and making Wilt yeah. the Reggie, center. Reggie, you and oh, me are okay. on the same page. Because mm -hmm. I'll put I thought, Will, I I thought put Will Chamberlain was the anywhere. the best five of the decade. Yeah. So I'm going with my best five. My best Your five. My best five, no hey, matter what position. My you best make, five. You make the rules as you go. That's <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You can do your own thing. I was told your best five of the decade. My best five of that decade. 
be okay. Will, Elgin, and Russ. Okay, that's fine. That's but great. you can't. And we'll all fly on one plane when we Russ. leave here, and you can fly on your own. That's <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can't. You uh, can't. You, can't, you can't take forward. Bill Russell and say, "Hey, you my power, power forward." forward. Power hey, forward. tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> like, go, okay, go tell Shaq right now. Hey, Shaq, I'm gonna move you to power forward. <laughs> You're not the center no more. <laughs> uh, if you don't move, if you don't move Russ uh, to the four, um, then who's your power forward? I gotta go, Big Bob. Bob LSU, Pettit, baby. Yeah, Bob Pettit. Bob Pettit. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we've got an Oscar Robertson, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, Bob Pettit. Under Reggie rules, though, I might have Bill at the point. Oh, now you. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I mean, okay. we're going, you know. All right. Bill yeah. Pettit. I think go with big. My best five. <laughs> Let me see what y'all five. Are. I'm going with my best Bill five. Bill at the point. So Bill Garden <laughs> Cousy. Yeah. If, if we're not using the Reggie rule, who's your center? Is it Wilt or is it Bill? I gotta go, Big Bill. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me, Bill here. I'm go Bill. One, two, three, <sighs> four. Watch this. Four and a half. Here's the only way I can settle that. Our center for the '60s is Bill Chamberlain. <laughs> <laughs> Among the point guards, uh, you might see in the '70s. You might see Clyde Frazier. You might see Tiny Archibald. Shooting guards, you might see Pete Maravich, Jerry West, Who? Ice, Ice Man. Small forwards like Rick Barry, Julius, John Havlicek. Power forwards like Bob McAdoo, Billy Cunningham. Ooh. Centers like Kareem, Elvin Hayes, Bill Walton, Bob Lanier. Mm. Uh, just some of those guys. Mm. Just some of the guys to consider. Um, but, I mean, this is what makes water cooler talk, you know, great. If, if people still have water coolers at work, I don't know. <laughs> but, but, Reggie, what is your initial gut telling you about, about this team of the 70s? Out of all the decades... To me, this was the hardest because you just mentioned like nine or ten guys, and I had a list of 16 or 17. And what gets lost in the translation is that was at the time when there was a transition because obviously the NBA was just getting ready to, to kind of evolve, but you also had the ABA. Mm -hmm. And they get lost in the shuffle here. Mm -hmm. So I have some ABA players on my team. So not only does it not have to be a starting five, Did it I doesn't tell even you, have to you, be you're the, the only NBA. one that would have gotten it. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one that would have gotten it. All right. As well as Bones. Talk to me. What you got? I got Dr. J, who played in both. He played right. in the ABA as well as uh, the NBA mm -hmm. in the 70s. I got the Big E, Elvin Hayes. Right. In the middle, I have Kareem. Mm -hmm. And then, this is a healthy debate, guys. All right, here we go. I always shudder when you All preface right. it that way. <laughs> this was the best player never to play in the NBA. I got Roger Brown. Yeah. And a lot of you guys yeah. don't know yeah. probably who Roger Brown is, but you know who yeah, Roger I do. Brown yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> one of the best yeah. players ever. Mm -hmm. And the other one, this was a little bit of a homer, but the big hand guy, Mel Daniels, mm -hmm. who was an absolute beast for those ABA Indiana Pacers. That was my best five. Smitty, you have this very, uh, it's, it's like you're pondering this and, and taking it all in. Yeah, because I'm taking offense to Reg that he said, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> 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 right. So it wasn't that you were well, we Obviously, Brent would know because his dad yeah. right. played but in the ABA. Mel Daniels went to my high school. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. you, you went there. Stay correct. <laughs> but you went there after he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you went to his high school. But, but I'm glad what Reg did to talk about the ABA. I mean, I grew up with George Gervin, Spencer Haywood, and those guys talking about the ABA and Mel Daniels. So I totally agree with Mel Daniels because all the I didn't see him play, but everybody from my neighborhood, from my brother and my dad, talked about how Mel Daniels. I didn't see. Roger Brown, but people talk about Mel Daniels as being one of those guys that was special. And for me, my list obviously doesn't have Mel Daniels because I thought we were going to NBA. I'm glad you did that, Reg, because those guys get forgotten. Mine is tiny. And I, George Gervin at the two, by far, from mm -hmm. a kid from the east side of Detroit, got a mm -hmm. chance to go follow him around and be his ball boy a lot of times in the Detroit Round Ball Classics. That's my two guard for sure. And then you have Dr. J and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Elvin Hayes. How about how about this guy Rick Barry, huh? You know him? Well, I, this this uh, all decades thing kind of sucks for me because if I don't say him, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of you have that dilemma. I just wanted to mention a couple of things because I, I like to dive into this stuff. The, the '70s were massively chaotic 
for, for the NBA. Reggie obviously mentioned the ABA after nine seasons it folded in 1976. So then you had the merger of what it was that the ABA, I think ultimately by folding, the ABA succeeded because it introduced to the NBA what it needed. Right. This was no longer just the Celtics. Everybody thought of the NBA as, oh crap, it's the Celtics or it's whoever Will Chamberlain is playing for. And then all of a sudden, now you go from 14 teams to 22 teams. You have incredible parity. There were, there were eight champions in the 70s. Nobody won back to back. So it was complete chaos in the 70s. But there was great play in both leagues that should be recognized. And my list, is, and I just did NBA only. Walt Frazier at the point guard position. Of course, Tiny Archibald, everybody talks about that year of leading the league in both points and assists, which was remarkable. But Frazier was incredible for the Knicks during that whole span. Uh, at the two guard, I had John Havlicek. People think of Havlicek in the 60s, but really in the 70s, John Havlicek was second in points in the de uh, sorry, third in points in the decade and second in rebounds in the 1970s at the shooting guard position. And a lot of those minutes, as we know, coming as a six man. Uh, small forward, Bob McAdoo got some serious consideration. His years in Buffalo as a scorer were just remarkable. So, so sorry, Dad. Uh, <laughs> and, and what Julius so Irving obviously twice. meant to both leagues <clears throat> was incredible. Um, Elvin Hayes at the four spot, just, re, just a remarkable yes. player. And then lastly, Kareem dominated mm -hmm. the center position, both in Milwaukee and when he went to the Los Angeles Lakers. So those would be my five. Only thing I disagree with is Tiny Archibald. At the point guard position, I know for that one year Brent talked about, but for the younger generation, it showed you that you can score the basketball, but you can also share and get other people involved. And I think that was good for the game for this next Can't generation. go wrong with either guy. Yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah. I would like to put Pistol, Pistol Pete at two, because for me, he was the first, no offense, Brent, he was the first white guy with style and flair that I've seen. So why, why would I take offense to that comment? Because <laughs> you're a white guy. <laughs> well, well, hold on, Ernie. No, but Ernie, Ernie's, Ernie's white. Ernie is not white. Oh. <laughs> Ernie is not white. Ernie is light skin. <laughs> He's what? Ernie is light skin. What up, cuz? What up, you're light skin. What? No, but, no, but my question to the fellow is: Was he the first white guy to have the flash and style and? between the legs and behind the back. I mean, because my well, favorite move was the move he did to Jerry West. Pete Maravich, he would take the basketball, right? And he would fake the pass. He would bounce it here, bounce it behind him, fake the pass, and you as a defender would jump, and he'd turn back around, catch the ball, and shoot it. <laughs> that, that was a hell of a move. And I was like, okay, I got to try that. No so I tried it in the game. Yeah. And Steve Coulter stole it. <laughs> <laughs> then we go to the 80s. And now it starts to get interesting because now we get into areas where you played against guys and, uh, well, I, I don't even need to show you lists of things. I can just say, who was the best point guard of the 1980s, Isaiah? Come on, Zeke, say yourself, Zeke. <laughs> say yourself, Zeke. No, honestly, honestly, <laughs> I will have to say Magic Johnson. Um, I believe I was the second best point guard of that era. Mm -hmm. But Magic Johnson was the best point guard, in my opinion, to ever play. And my five, if you want the five. Yes, yes. I do, of course. This is, so I'm going Magic at the one, Jordan at the two, Bird, J, Dr. J at three and four, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the five. Those are my five players of the 80s. Mm. 3D, how does that sound? How does that sound, question, how does that sound to you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Given that you... But... You, I'm get, I just want to say, given But I was you, better than Magic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> given, Isaiah, given I know. That Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas, I, I don't think on this panel that anybody's going to have anybody else... To, to really discuss when we're no. talking about the best of that decade. But for you, Isaiah, who are guys, just quick off the top of your head, that you compete against at the point guard that you felt you guys were so great that just didn't get their just due? I would say in, in the 80s for, for a short period of time, I, oh, thought, cheeks. I thought Mark Price mm -hmm. had a run in this league for about two years or so that was just about as good as anybody. Um, you d definitely Mo Cheeks. 
uh, Gus Williams. I have one for Ti you. Tiny Archibald was still, DJ? you know, at his, at Dennis. his, you know, Dennis. Gen Dennis? Yeah, but, yeah. but, but saying all that, saying there, all that, there, there was two. It, it, none of them were like Magic. Right. Not, none of us. Or you. None of us were like Magic. And, and the reason why I say that is because it, the, the 80s, I thought we came in and we had original styles. You know, we brought our originality to the game. Magic came in, and it was like something we had never seen. That's right. I thought when I came in, the way I was playing a point guard and the way I was dribbling, and move, it, was, it was a different style that the game had, had, hadn't seen before. Uh, Dr. J was an original. You know, Kareem was an original. So it's like, to me, when you, when you look at the 80s and I, and I look at Jordan, like, it was like, when he walked in, it was like, uh -oh. damn. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, is he for real? Well, you, 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 okay, I remember when we first played against him, um, it was the Olympic, um, oh, yeah. the Olympic 84, team right, right. in 84. 84 in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And they was doing the, 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 uh, the pros coming to play against... Um, the Olympic you know, team. The Olympic yep. team. Mm -hmm. And I remember Coach Knight <laughs> saying, yep. Coach Knight was coaching to me, he said, this one a little different now. <laughs> <laughs> this, one's this one a little different now. And so, you know, in Phoenix, it was hot in the summer, and, you know, he, you, you watch guys dunking and everything, but he had a different kind of bounce, you know, jumping and dunking, and I was like, okay, all right, all right, that's kind of nice, that's kind of nice. And then the game started, and this dude was so fast and so quick, he was like, oh, oh, Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's a PG show. <laughs> it's a no, PG but, 13 show, coach. <laughs> but but no, some curse words are necessary. <laughs> <for some description. laughs> That's when television and yeah, basketball right. yes. really right. took Burst. off. Yeah. Yeah. You had the Lakers, you had the 80s, you had the floppy hair of, of Larry Bird, you had the style and grace and flair of Showtime and, and Magic, and then you had Isaiah and his bad boys. And before they were the bad boys, I mean, they were putting up 135 points with yeah, him yeah. and Kelly Trapuca and, mm -hmm. and, and guys like John that, John Long. Long. My mentor, so that's when the 80s, and for a lot of us, okay. That's but we let would, me, but we let me, let me clarify this for, for, for the youngsters on the panel. Yeah, Jordan was a great player in the 80s, but they were finishing third and fourth right. yes. in the division. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay, right. so, so I know all y'all watching want to say, oh, Jordan was the great. He was great in the 90s. Yes. He dominated yes. in the 90s, yes. but in the 80s, he was out in the first round. Right. Yeah. And, and that era oh, yeah. for me is... <laughs> 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 That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> but to answer all that early, <laughs> <laughs> message, message, <laughs> message. <laughs> that era was the first to me, the wow era. When you went to each position, each guy, you said, wow. Even when you got down to Larry Bird, who wasn't that athletic, Hey, no, you hey, go Rook. wild. Hey, hey, Rook. You wild, wild. Ready to Make this move, pump fake, and score on you. You make the move. Yeah, you wild. Go have a seat. But that was the point that you each wilding. position you wild in that era. Uh, go ahead. You know, and, and, and that was the time, I mean, for me, when I fell in love with the game. And, and, you know, for me, you know, first of all, the four greatest that I ever saw in person were Isaiah, Magic, Michael, and Bird. And as you said, Reggie, as television merged, as these great transcendent players uh, emerge. It, it just was a perfect storm that I think we really owe the, the success of this league to that time. I got a chance to be able to talk, touch, and play against Isaiah and Magic. And you talking about debated back in Michigan, who's the better point guard? I think that debate went from nationwide and still goes on. Those are two guys, similar built, Similar places growing up, one from inner city in Chicago, one from Lansing. So for me, being right there in Detroit, I thought it was a rite of passage. I could walk up to Isaiah, ask him a question, and he showed me a move. Right. I thought everybody could do that. I could walk up to Magic, and he could teach me how to play. I could walk up to George Gervin at almost every recreation center at St. Cecilia, and they stopped their <laughs> workout. Mm -hmm. And take a young guy, I was very young, and I could go play two-on-two. -two. Me and Magic versus you and Aguirre. Right, right. I thought everybody had that. <laughs> I had no, 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 not knowing, but right. what those two guys did. And I think for me, obviously, is Michael at the two. 
Larry Bird at the three. I have Charles at the four and Moses at the five. Yeah, I was going to say we 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 can get all around look at, of rebound. Yeah, you yeah. can look at this decade and you can list guys. Okay who do not make my starting five and say, oh, that's a pretty good starting five yeah. uh, right there. I mean, and you bring up Charles, you think about Kevin McHale, you talk about Carl Malone, you talk about uh, the late great Moses. Um, <laughs> and let's, let's, let's center on the power forward position. Moses is my four, Kareem is my five. And I got the same as him. Larry well, Bird. Y'all get to change, y'all get to change in position. <laughs> I'm going with best five. You, yeah, well, that's what I need to do. Get your five, I'll go with my call five. Four or five. I'm going with Magic, Michael, Larry, Moses, Kareem. So the 80s, unbelievable decade. We move to the 1990s as we... Well, speaking of the 1990s, what did you say about Dream Team? That, I was so... It was wrong that Shaq and I wasn't on a Dream Team. It was just wrong. And I still, and I still Amen. think Dream Team Two could beat Dream Team One, and I don't care who like it. Hey, I'm going to Dream Team Two. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, was on, I was on that team. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, did, <laughs> what did you walk into in 1995 as you came into this league? Wow. Um, you know, I think I think the league obviously was post Jordan. Jordan had sort of retired for the first time, um, and the legends of the 80s who kind of played a little bit into the 90s were retiring as well. Isaiah had just left in Detroit, Magic a few years earlier, Bird. Uh, so the league was sort of maybe in a bit of a transition as Shaquille was emerging. You know, Reggie emerging. Was I was emerged already. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the first pick me word this morning? Not a picture later. Not a lot of morning. Oh, man. Oh. That was my train of thought. Yeah, I, I was wondering when he wrote that one, too. Yeah. I was wondering when he wrote that one. Emerging. Yeah, but I mean, the, the league was, was in transition, I think. And younger guys were emerging as the new stars, as the new pillars of the league. Uh, and Shaq, although he was already emerged. And, and the interesting <laughs> thing about, about this, when we talk about the 90s, is you guys played against all these guys who are up for consideration in here. So um, 3D, who would, be, who would be your team of the 90s if you had to, if you had to limit it to five? And, and now it's your five best or it's five by position? And be careful how you answer that number five spot. I mean, that's a no-brainer who my uh, center okay. is. It's a right. no-brainer. Just checking. Uh, power forward. Put these hands on you. <laughs> Carl Malone. What? If I can say this, Isaiah, he intentionally oh. opened up an old wound. Um, <laughs> Sound like little John over there. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> My good, hey, you've got him in stitches with that, uh, with that comment. Watch this. Wound and stitches, they go together. Oh, oh, I, like oh I remember. Two guard, obviously. Stop snitching. Two guard, you obviously. Like uh, <laughs> <laughs> two guard, MJ. <laughs> Okay, and uh, my point guard, I'm going with John Stockton. Oh, Lord, look at, look at this. Guy. No, I, I'm, I'm good with okay. that. I was, right. it, was just, it was just my power forward. Sto hey, Stockton, Jordan, it Malone, was. and Shaq. And then my small forward, oh, with Dominique Wilkins, just to give him some love. In the 90s? In the 90s? 90s? <laughs> <laughs> the 90s. Well, 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 I know in 90, he was still giving us buckets. Now, it might not be... But that's what I'm going with. I'm leaving it at that. In the 90s, I would no, take I would, him I over, over Dominique. In the 90s, I would go, and I know... Dominique was some on the Achilles. Yeah, yeah, he had I, I have Scotty yeah. Pippen. Scotty would be in the 90s. Have, yeah. uh -oh. And, and, uh -oh. and I, know, I know that... that <laughs> that's, I was waiting for it. I, I had a great six years, but I think I didn't win. And I didn't have... You know, we're judged, as Reggie said earlier, on you know, postseason. I didn't have yep. great success in the 90s in the postseason. So, you know, if that's part of the criteria, then, yeah, Scotty gets it. But... Head up, you know. Head up. I bet my numbers were, you know, yeah. My numbers were, you know, You talk about the, the numbers being very similar, and they were, except that, that you had, uh, you averaged more points, rebounds, and assists than he did. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> no, burn, 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 wait, wait, let's, let's, let, let's I got more touches. Let's, let's, let's acknowledge on the real who, who this guy really mm -hmm. is sitting here, because when Jordan 
was retiring and Grant Hill was coming into the league, we were talking about passing the mantle to Grant. Yes. You. You was going. Mm -hmm. So it ain't like you. You won. Scott. Scottie Pippen couldn't carry the league. Jordan carried the league. We're talking about a guy like yourself carrying the league. So you can't sit there and be like, oh, well, you know, Scott, you know that. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll let Trump say it. You were the worst friend. No, no, no. We know. We know. No, no, Stan, you know, it's like. You, uh, you know what? Damn it, it's me. What? I'm going to go forward. Does Red Scotty Pippen have pictures of you or something? What's the deal with Scotty? Wait a minute. Wait, Listen. wait. Ho, 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 ho. Something well, going I'm, on. I'm messy. Uh, I'm messy, uh, Red. Did Michael, did he want him on the team? Well, I can't speak for Michael, but uh, no, I did not want him on the team. I, okay, I don't mind Michael Jordan saying Thank I you. didn't want Isaiah to be on the dream team. Thank I don't mind. You know, if if Larry Bird said, I don't want Isaiah to be on the dream team. But but if Scotty Pippen <laughs> say, I don't want Isaiah to be on the dream team. That's the problem. Man, you come know, on. You, know, you, know, you, you can't say nothing. Okay, I got a new you topic can't, for the Army Corps. Oh, oh, this nothing. is good. I, 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 this is Mike, good. If Jordan is like, look, here. I'm not playing. If Isaiah plays, yeah. OK. I, okay. so Scotty Pippen, I'm not playing if I see a play. Man, go, hey, go to the park. <laughs> Freedy, I need you to, Freedy, I need you to get up for a second. Get up for a second if you would, Freedy. And, okay. And, and Isaiah, Whew. lay down on the couch. Um, so how, how, long, how long have you been harboring? How long have you been harboring? Oh, man. This, Are you feeling better now that it's, that it's come out, Isaiah? Well, you know, Ernie, I, you know, it's, it's been a while. It's been on my mind. <laughs> you know, for about, you know, 25 years right now. This is kind of like a weight is being lifted off of you. Well, yeah, because I finally get to talk about it and just, you know, the whole dream team experience. And again, I, I got no problems with, you know, the, the greatest player to ever play, say he don't want to play with me, or Magic saying he don't. But... Anybody below them? Excuse me, Mr. Thomas. And I say below them? <laughs> Mr. Thomas, <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, your yeah. hour is up. I'm sorry. Oh, I have to man. charge you more. This but I'm a... glad you feel better. Okay, no, let's move on. Very good. Thank you. Very, very nice. Oh. <laughs> Jack, tell, tell me about the 90s. I'm going to oh. go at the fast, but I'm going to go with Akeem Olajuwon. Because for me, uh, I know I was coming in and I was emerging slash already emerged. <laughs> <laughs> he was the only guy that I couldn't figure out. Uh, I couldn't figure him out. And he was the only guy that, that I couldn't intimidate. You know, the Georgetown boys, we all know they're going to fake laugh and go right. <laughs> Rick, Rick Smith used to kill me early on, too. But, uh, you say fake laugh and go right. Yeah, fake, fake hard laugh and go right. the whole time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just like, go ahead, Alonzo. Uh, Go right, and give that, uh, go, ahead, go right and give me that dumbass runner <laughs> hook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I'm at the five. Uh, I agree with D. Carl Malone at the four spot was a beast. That pick and roll, him and uh, Stockton that pick and roll, unstoppable. At the three, I don't know at the three yet. But at the two, uh, Mike, of course. And at the point guard, I'm going to go with GP. Uh, only because there's another decade to go, which is a, a, a really large verbal parachute for me at this point at center, which will be him. But in the, <laughs> in the 90s, I would take Akeem Olajuwon mm -hmm. uh, and what it is that he represented at the center position. I mean, he redefined what it was to be an athlete at that spot um, in much the way that, you know, Chamberlain did uh, with his footwork and athleticism. He was incredible. At the four, I, Carl Malone and Charles is, a, is an awesome uh, debate, but I, I would choose Carl Malone to play the four spot. Um, at the small forward, I've talked to Grant at length about uh, his career. I mean, he was absolutely the guy that was mm -hmm. going to be what um, the league was about. Class, um, could do everything on the court and off the court. He was going to be that guy. And because of injuries and things that happened, um, because of Scottie Pippen winning championships at the small forward, it's, it, it's hard not to put Scottie Pippen as the best small forward uh, throughout the 90s. Great two guards in the 90s, Reggie Miller, Joe Dumars, Mitch Richmond, uh, Clyde Drexler, all behind Michael Jordan. With, I mean, there's just not, it's hard mm -hmm. to say that, but Reggie, you, you deserve 
I ain't not tough enough to put myself in. And then the point guard is a tough one because you, you're talking about how to play the point guard and guys that could do a little bit of everything. And Gary Payton and John Stockton represented the 90s, I mean, in the, this 90s decade in two very, very different ways. Um, and so it depends on what, what kind of style of ball you'd like to play. And I played with Gary in Seattle and grew up watching him uh, in Oakland at Skyline High School and then uh, on the Oregon State and then his years in Seattle. But I would pick John Stockton who I think is, was more capable of doing more things in Utah, but because of that system, did what it was that needed to be done for Jerry Sloan and for Carl Malone. Everybody said it, but everybody had their say here on the, on the uh, 90s. Reggie? Well, I mean, you guys are going by position, so I, no, no, you're, I, went, well, with best, I went with the best five. So. There you go. And they are? Paul, MJ, obviously. Two. Well, let me start by saying special consideration so oh. people don't get upset to Isaiah. Special consideration to Shaq. And special mm -hmm. consideration to Grant. But Charles, Carl, Hakeem, and he's really not going to like this. David Robinson. I mean, David Robinson gets overlooked as one of the best centers of all time. Reggie, are you thirsty? 90s. I want you to drink some of this. <laughs> <laughs> you can say what you want, but two championships later oh, in the yeah, MVP, oh, oh, yeah. David well, Robinson was, he was a man. load. Yeah, no, he was a man. He was a load yes, in the load. 90s. And Patrick yeah. Ewing doesn't get a mention. From he just did. <laughs> he just, he just, he just, just did. Just try to be fair at the yeah. center. Yeah. And when we're talking about centers, he would probably be the fourth behind yeah. David, Hakeem, yeah. and Shaq. Not in that order. You might be higher. You may be lower. <laughs> this is <laughs> just because, like you said, we have another decade to go where, yeah, you, yes. right. yeah, where you get rewarded. One Can't thing get every decade. One thing that we well, did. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about uh, teams by decade, and we wrap it up now with the, uh, the 2000s going up through 2009, I guess. So anything 2010 after, we're, don't go there. All right. Everything good? Good. All right. Great. Uh, who would like to start giving me a five from the 2000s? Big fella. I guess you would, big fella. Number yeah. five, I'll put Dr. O'Neill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After two, you got to go with the Copester. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the three, who was at the three? Give, give, give me some names. LeBron. LeBron. T Mac. Yeah, LeBron. Hello. Yeah, LeBron at the three. Paul at the four, you got to go with Mr. Duncan. And the point, point's going to be hard. Uh, Nash beat me out twice for MVP. I still don't know how. How about Allen? <laughs> Kid? AI. Yeah, ooh. J hey, Shaq. J Kid. Do you need to get on the couch now, too? <laughs> uh, actually, I do. Guys, get up for a second. Hold on. Oh, Put an extender on here. I was going to extend it. All right, extender on there, Brad. Dr. O'Neill, do you want yes, me hold, you want me hold seems, the feet? Don't touch the toes. Right. <laughs> what seems to be your, uh, your overriding concern today? What is your issue? What would you like to get off your chest? It was this little good-looking David Beckham little guy running around <laughs> like a gnat, just passing the ball to people and doing this and doing that. He scored every now and then, but oh, he would always beat me out in the MVP voting. And I'm averaging 28-15 <laughs> without the free throws. <laughs> Do you not feel I'm going to the finals every year? Do you, uh, do you not feel that, you, that uh, Steve Nash deserved the award at all? There's not a part of you that says, yes, Steve Nash deserved the award for the following reasons. Maybe once, but not twice over the diesel. <laughs> twice, two times in a row. He got two, I got one, Kobe got one, something wrong with that picture. <laughs> Whatever camera you, you're using, throw it away. Get a new camera. Anything else you need to get off your chest at this point? No, I'm just, yeah, well, I'm mad I, was, I wasn't on Dream Team 1. Mm -hmm. I'm mad they started the Hacker Shack. <laughs> Are you really? Because you've always said that the shot clock just proves that they're yeah, losers so they don't know how to play the game. That is true, but I wasn't born with the gifts that Reggie and Isaiah and D. Scott were born with. I wasn't born with the shoot and touch. I was born with the So are you bitter about that as well? Yeah, I'm bitter about that. I'm, I'm mad about... <laughs> I'm mad about, what else? I'm, I'm mad about Pat Riley used to practice me five hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm mad Phil Jackson used to come in with something called sage that smelled like weed to me. Not that I know what weed smells like. He used to come in every day and I'm mad about a lot of things. I'm, I'm, I'm mad Nick Anderson missed those four free throws. <laughs> Okay, oh, now he's getting no, real. No, no, no. Now, no. Man, now, 
<laughs> it ain't about Nick, though. It ain't about Nick. It's about Kenny walking around thinking he a legend out <laughs> Come on, Nick. All you got to do is make one, Nick Anderson. <laughs> there's a lot There's a lot going oh. on in there. And, and since this is the last segment, I don't know. I'm mad Penny had little Penny. I'm mad about, <laughs> I'm mad about too uncomfortable with three on a bench there, are you? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You stay there. We're good. 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 We're good